Hi guys, welcome to Grub Garden. Today we're going to be making a lovely cold salt and bocca, which is wrapped in parma ham. We're also going to be making a lovely gremolata on the side, which is the most simplest dressing on the planet. So to begin with, what we need to do is take our card fillets. I've got two here. They're not too big because they're going to shrink a little bit as well. So I've got my pan, nice and hot, full whack, okay? What I'm going to do is wrap these up. So what I'm going to do is take some fresh basil, kind of pop that on the top. And it's going to go underneath the palm of hand to make it taste really nice. Okay. And then you're going to take your palm of hand. You can use a bacon, streaky bacon. Just make sure it's nice and thin bacon. Otherwise, if it's too thick, it won't hold. Once it's just like that, pop a bit of oil in your pan. You're going to pop it on the side that has all the seams so it seals in. Straight in there. Wait for the sizzle. Pop the next one in on that side. Straight down. While that's going, I've got my pestle and mortar. If you don't have one of these, just use a blitzer, whatever you've got available. I've got some lemon rind without any of the pith. I don't want the white bit, it's very bitter. Bash it up. Release all the essential oils. Now what you're going to do is take your garlic clove, a little bash, just to release it. Garlic in your pestle and water, we're going to bash that up. Try not to wake up my neighbours, because it's like nearly one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and this is my Saturday night. Okay, and then you're going to take some parsley, uh, some basil, if you have coriander as well, put that in there. You're going to drizzle in some olive oil. I'd say about two tablespoons of olive oil, good extra virgin olive oil. Mix it together. You're going to get all the essential oils out as well. And that's done! What we need to do is check on this bad boy. So can you see all the fats coming out of the palm ham? Make sure it's not sticking. If it sticks a little bit, that's okay. And once it's sealed on one side, you're going to flip it over. Oh, oh, be careful, it's very delicate. <laughs> does that, does, not, does that not smell really good? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then flip over the other one. Okay, so once it's nicely cooked, you're going to see it's nicely white. That's when you know. Now, you're gonna add a good amount of butter. Ooh. Melt that down. What we're also gonna do is add a squeeze of lemon juice, just a lemon wedge. Flip them over. It will be very delicate. Sometimes it does fall apart. That's okay. It just means it's cooked really well. <laughs> just baste it. Salt and peps. We're going to take the gremolata. And then, if you want to, you can just add a bit of freshly picked parsley on the top. And that's it, guys. Your cod salt and bocca with gremolata sauce. I really hope you like the video. Please subscribe, share with your foodie friends. Anyway, I'll see you next Thursday.